We've achieved an awful lot in the last 10 years, um, and to call out just a few achievements, we were able to achieve the world's first 20 Tesla, 20 Kelvin HTS magnet. So that's the first magnet in the world to reach fusion fields at a relevant operating temperature. Um, and that really proved to us that the material is able to carry the current densities that we need in fusion conditions, um, and also that the coils are actually robust and defect tolerant Second of all, we've addressed some of the challenges that are associated with scaling up of magnets. And one of the biggest challenges there is how to deal with stored energy. So as coils get larger, the stored energy within the magnetic field that they're generating gets large very quickly. And the way that we've addressed that problem is by use of partial insulation. Um, and this allows us to tune the way that the coil responds electromagnetically, the way that it behaves thermally, and it can deal with this stored energy that, that's created in the magnetic field. Um, and that was, in the, that was in the Demo 2 project that we were able to, to, to demonstrate the ability to quench protect coils. So we've got robust coils that we can quench protect. What we're working on now as a team is the, the Demo 4 system. So we're looking to build a full spherical tokamak magnet set, all out of HTS magnets. We're building this system now. The coils, uh, the coils are all manufactured. We're turning those into assembled limb structures Outside of this core magnet build project of Demo4, we're also working on technology development projects in order to fill in all of the other technology gaps that we need to deliver fusion magnets. So uh, one of the ways that we're working is to develop a really scalable manufacturing technology for coils. Um, on top of that, we're continuing to work with key HDS tape suppliers to understand um, the performance of the, of the tapes in large quantities, and we're continuing to do experiments in-house um, on factors such as irradiation tolerance, mechanical tolerance. Uh, we're also working on jointing techniques, so practical metallurgical techniques for, for joining together large arrays of coil structures in practical ways. So we've been designing HTS magnets for fusion devices for some time now, and we've been targeting the most compact, um, difficult to build magnets, which are, for example, the toroidal field coils which require very compact, high current densities. Um, and in doing so, in tackling all of the technologies associated with delivering those magnets, we've now developed technology that's applicable to a wide range of applications in a number of fields. And we're now actively pursuing commercial avenues for our technology outside of fusion to capitalize on this. Mm -hmm.